Today we have a 2014 Ford Focus. It's a titanium with a 2.0 motor. The customer's saying it's a little sluggish, so we're gonna clean the mass airflow sensor. So we're gonna show you where that's located and how to either clean or replace it. This is your Ford 2.0 motor. Um, they've made a billion of these, so they're a pretty good motor. Um, the mass airflow sensor happens to be right here, which so you can't pull it straight out and get right at it. So what we're gonna do is take the uh, breather off right here and do a couple dis disconnects and pull it out of there. First thing I'm gonna do, start out by lifting this up nice and gently, like that. Once it's lifted up, you can push on it. Right there, pull it off, just like that. And then we get a panel popper. Push this out, get that out of the way. And then the nice thing about this, Ford made it, where you just push this little blue thing, pops that off, push this over like that, and this one should pop straight off too, just like that. So they're actually nice, easy, like a quick connect almost. And we'll unscrew these and pull that out of there. Okay, unscrew that one real quick. Let's get a short one for down here. So it gets in there. And then what we're gonna do, just pull that off. However, I mean, it's been on there for a while. It's got 90,000 on it, so it's not gonna pull out super easy. throw off the side. Now I'm going to take this rag and just stuff it in the throttle body. Not that you have to do that, but uh, I'm going to take out this eight millimeter here and this eight down here and pull this out. Get that one out like that. Pull this bottom one out. And this can only go in one way, of course, because the way you gotta pull these bolts out like that, and this should wiggle right out of there, just like that. Next thing we do, you can see it's mounted here in the housing. So we'll take a T20, move those. Just like that, loose. Loose, and we'll pull. I'll pick that up, but pull our mass airflow sensor out. We'll clean it. Now you're gonna to wanna to use mass airflow sensor cleaner. You're not gonna to wanna to use brake clean or gasoline or anything else. It'll leave a residue. Gotta use this stuff. We've used it for years, CRC. And what we're gonna do is with the nozzle, we're gonna go and clean there. Any place that's got these wires that actually read and send information to your ECM. And they're gonna let it sit five to 10 minutes and reinstall. So you can only put this in one way, of course. Otherwise it won't, um, screw, the screws won't fit. Start that one. I'll start this one. We're gonna actually move it over here in case I drop the crazy screw. I'll have to look for it in the motor compartment. Should get that one in. And this car's got about 100,000. This is something you should actually do every 40 to 50,000 miles. Tight. Tight. Ready to reinstall it. So now you can't mess this up either because you have to line up the holes there. Grab one of these, start this one by hand. Grab the second one, start that one. Just like that. Okay, now you might have to hold that. And push, put a little pressure on it to hold it in place. And this is just plastic, so you don't have to get crazy on it. That's why I'm using a little quarter inch. That's tight enough. Do the top one. tight enough. Now it's time to take the rag out. Put this thing on. You know these go up to the top. I'm gonna slide this, pull these out of the way.
you might want to put a little white grease on it or a little light thing of WD around it. That one slid on good. That one actually slid right on. So now next thing we do is tighten up the screws. You want to make sure it's sitting flush against that lip, which I assume everybody would know that, but just thought I'd mention that real quick on both sides. Okay, that one's tight. Get a smaller screwdriver and go down here and do this one down here. You could also use the uh, quarter inch socket, but since I have this tool out right now, that's what I'm gonna use. All right, that's tight. Right there. Come up here, and this right here, this just clips in place, just make sure it's lined up. And it snaps in just like that. This one snaps in like that, you can hear them click. Pull this out, and that goes in place right there. Last thing we're gonna do is plug this in, listen for it to click. And of course that one didn't click, but it's locked in. Push the red tab down. That's all it takes to do a mass airflow sensor on a 2014 Ford Focus with a 2.0 motor.